morning church good to see everybody here this morning um, I wanted to I was reading let's see if I got I don't know if I didn't bring my glasses so this may be a challenge um, I was wanting to read from the message which is kind of a transliteration of the Bible and um, in Romans chapter 7, verses uh, 15 through 25, it says, I know that all of God's commands are spiritual, but I'm not. Isn't this also your experience? Yes, I'm full of myself. After all, I've spent a long time in the sin's prison. What I don't, what I don't, understand about myself is this i decide one way but excuse me just a second let me get better light on this what i don't understand is this but um i don't understand myself is this i decide one way but then i act another doing things i absolutely despise so if I can't be trusted to figure out what is best for myself and then do it, it becomes obvious that God's command is necessary. But I need something more, for if I know the law but still can't keep it, and if the power of sin within me keeps sabotaging my best intentions, I obviously need help. I realize that I don't have what I what it takes. I can will it, but I can't do it. I decide in to do good, but I don't really do it. I decide not to do bad, but then I do it anyway. My decisions, such as they are, don't result in actions. Something has gone wrong deep within me and gets the better of me every time. It happens so regularly that it's predictable. The moment I decide to do good, sin is there to trip me up. I truly delight in God's commands, but it's pretty obvious that not all of me joins in that delight. Parts of me covertly rebel and just when I least expected, they take charge. I've tried everything and nothing helps. I'm at the end of my ropes. Is there no one who can do anything for me? Isn't that the real question? The answer, thank God, is that Jesus Christ can and does. He acted to set things right in this life of contradictions where I want to serve God with all my heart and mind, but am pulled by the influence of sin to do something totally different. So what struck me is that as we come together to remember the sacrifice of Jesus, that that is basically what we're doing is we're relying on the sacrificial blood and body of Christ for our continuous contradictions in our lives so that as we come together to remember Christ's sacrifice, we have the confidence that his blood is what cleanses us. And even though we fall short on an ongoing basis, um, his blood is there to cover our sins. So at this time, if you would pray for, with me as we remember our Lord and Savior. Dear Father, we come to you knowing that nothing we do um, uh, warrants us to anticipate or expect eternal life with you in heaven, but through the sacrificial blood of Christ, we are able to find forgiveness of our sins and inconsistencies and rely on on your son uh, for for our salvation 
at this time, we remember him by participating in this communion and partaking of this bread. We ask you to bless it in Christ's name. Amen. We pray, dear Father, we ask you to bless this fruit of the vine, which represents Christ's blood. Bless us as we remember his sacrifice that was given for our sins. In Christ's name we pray, amen. <clears throat> 